When I was a kid, I drew all the time. I remember an art teacher saying that some people that were really naturally great at painting couldn't necessarily draw. They just they just had a natural ability to paint. And I thought, uh oh, what if I'm the opposite and I can draw but I can't paint? I I I, th I think painting would be great. So I was a little nervous to try, but when I did eventually try painting, I just fell in love with it. I mean, just completely in love. I remember going to uh, an old junkyard when I was probably in middle school and collecting like license plates and road signs, you know, decorating my room as a kid. And I just thought these things were so cool because they had the story. I thought I hit gold because I found a, an old school bus and it was a Pennsylvania school bus license plate. And I thought for my little collection, that was a great find. Even back in middle school, I liked old things. I liked things that had story. It wasn't until I started putting them in my work that I realized that there's a, there's a value in that for other people too. At this point in time, I have a hard time describing my work without using the word collage because it's just become so important in what I do. Gosh, I could be using easily 50 pieces, 50 different things. Um, I've never counted. I've listed on some pieces on the back what's in there, but I really enjoy incorporating so many things from different eras, kind of like a time capsule of sorts. One of the first things that I acquired that I use still today, and I have so many vintage Hollywood movie magazines, um, Movie Land, Screen Land, there's, there's many, and they span from the 40s through the 70s. And my husband, years and years before I ever met him, there was a woman that had passed away that he knew through extended family. There was an estate sale. And this, as it turns out, this woman had vicariously lived through these Hollywood movie magazines. She was obsessed with the story of Liz Taylor and Debbie Reynolds and Eddie Fisher and she had strong opinions on that and she X'd out faces and she checked good articles and bad articles and she must have read every single article, every page of these magazines. There were thousands. And he thought these were amazing. So he bought as many as he could. He knew he would give them to an artist. He didn't know who. And when he met me years later, he knew that I needed to have these and they just still continue to make up a big part of my work. My focus has been three different series, the abstracts, the panels, and the figures, and they, they're actually quite different, um, but for me, there's a commonality there. There's a common thread throughout each. It's a different experience from afar than it is from close up. Number one, there's a lot of collage involved. Even the areas that are mostly look painted, they're actually layered with collage underneath. But that's when I think the, the true treasure hunt begins, where people, I've noticed, they get up to it and they start to find things and they start to get excited about what they find. And I love to see what people are drawn to and what they get excited about. There's all these textures and, and colors and they're rich and you experience them. They, they trigger more than one of your senses. I use more that is made from paper than anything else. Old books, old magazines. And part of the reason of that is that I, I think so many of these things won't be around eventually. They're just not gonna be here and we can easily take them for granted. And so it's not out of disregard that I cut these things up, it's quite the opposite. It's actually that I wanna honor them. I think some of these things do trigger things that, um, that matter. For years I really, I felt like I was bouncing around too much. And then I sort of found that that could become part of my style, is, is having different genres within the same work. I kind of need to do these different practices. I need to expand on them, that I've learned so much from all of them. And because they inform one another, it matters to me to keep going. And I think that it betters me as an artist to kind of do all of them. It was a journey for me that I knew I would be an artist, not professionally. I just knew I would be an artist. I would always make art. Professionally came as a surprise, and I'm, I'm very grateful.